When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, FB Aftermath. Back here with another video. Man, we're just gonna get straight into the back exercising, um, back workout today. I don't really do the t-bar rows as much as i should because it makes me feel uncomfortable but today i actually found a comfortable positioning for me rather than putting my feet on those stomps uh, you see with the rebel the the where you where it's pretty much where you're supposed to put your feet i actually put it on the floor instead so it has me down more and i get more of that mid back contraction and really pull those elbows back and squeeze but one main thing I want to tell you guys is the dimensions when it comes to how to build a bigger back. And what we want to do is we want to build on three dimensions. We want to do a vertical movement, a horizontal movement, and a bent over movement, right? So my bent over movement is going on right now. That could be barbell or dumbbell rows. Horizontal movement could be machine the seated cable rows or machine rows and the vertical movement can be pull downs or pull ups right so we're hitting all tops of angles on that back and we're really building development all around and that's what we need the back is a huge muscle and there's there's so much you can do for it and you really have to uh, take into consideration how big it is, right? We can't we can't train it like a bicep or tricep where we know we can we can look at it, we can look at it, we can feel it a lot better. Um, but the lats, the rhombus, the traps, all that, the lower lats, the lower back have to be taken care of more specifically. And so right now we're moving on to some bent over rows. I'm using the same machine that I use for the T-bar, uh, just because it has a, a good angle, um, like pull like a, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Um, just the, the feeling of it though, because instead of having a dumbbell, I have a, a landmine pretty much, and I can pull it into my lower lats. You see how it's kind of like going forward and then coming back? I like that a lot. The feeling was great. Got a guy, got a great pump in my lats. But uh, moving on, I just went for that that perfect 12 right now. So I'm back on that perfect 12 right now. And what that perfect 12 is is just finding the perfect rep in the sets of 12. So four sets of 12. We're gonna find that weight that really has me dead on that 12th rep and that's the importance of training you know sometimes i do my you know low sets for for strength i rarely do high sets for conditioning work um because when it comes to muscle growth your main focus is to get into that feeling of uh that breakdown right and we don't want to take two less reps or too many reps to get to that point you don't really get to that point to those last four reps you know for maybe even six depending on that weight and you're just really grinding out but i say if i'm doing set of 12 by the eighth rep i should really be feeling like all right you know, I, I, I gotta really push it i gotta really push myself and i gotta really um uh, make sure i pretty much get these reps in and I think a lot of people fail to see what the importance of your rep scheme is, you know, going in, like even though I go in and don't know what I'm going to do sometimes for a training session, I still have the thought of, all right, this is the movement I'm going to do exercise and just randomly and all right, let me play around with the weight for a minute, let me do three reps here, four reps here and then all right. This is my weight right here. This is my, my 12 rep weight. And if I feel like it's not, I do it the 12 reps. And maybe it's like, what, the last two reps are pretty tough. I go up in weight, make it, make the last four reps really tough. And if I wanna really pull out some shit, um, go up in weight again, make those last six reps 
pretty uh, pretty hard to accomplish. But anyways, as you've seen through this video, I've done the three plans that I've told you about to really hit the lats hard. Right? I had a great back workout, great back pump, great lats pump. Um, you know, of course, my lats are underdeveloped. It's not something that I really focus on much. I try to let the bigger movements fo um, focus on those as a secondary, but it doesn't seem to be working as much as I wanted to. So sometimes I try to hit some, you know, like some dumbbell shrugs, barbell shrugs, some high pulls. Um, you know, I, I could get back into the Olympic lifting more and, and hopefully have that bring out the development of my traps. But until then, I'm just doing what I can right now. Now this movement right here is something that everybody should be doing a lot more. Right, so the incline assisted dumbbell rows and shrugs. Now what this does is it allows me to keep my, my chest across the bar again, just like the T-bars, but since I have dumbbells, I can pull all the way back, get a full range of motion, let my arms go all the way forward, get a big stretch, and then bring that contraction in. And then you do the shrugs, which I feel is, is pretty cool because you take out that, that little hop you do sometimes with shrugs. So it's just really going all to the traps. So I like that a lot. And then I added in some um, flies. Uh, just. I have no idea to be honest. I just I was like, oh, let me just grab some 17s and just do something extra. And sometimes that's good. I mean, I, actually, all the time it's good because it's, you know, putting in more work, you're you're knowing that you're lacking in a certain area. So it's just kind of like, hey, let me find something else I can do to better this area. Now, mind you, I really don't give a shit about like lacking in the area i'm gonna be totally honest you know people are like oh you're lacking here I'm like bro i don't compete i don't give a fuck like let me live bro just let me live i'm just trying to work out i'm just trying to gain i'm just trying to do me you know don't don't let people get to you telling you like where you lack and then that shit like get to your head you feel me because when you start thinking like that it sometimes doesn't become fun anymore and now you're so worried about what that person tells you it becomes more like a, an a ego thing I guess but regardless don't let somebody take your happiness of lifting just because they're very critical or criticizing mean, criticizing of what you have and what you what more you should have or blah 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 bro do you point blank and that's that all right so these are some tips on how to build a big back and take them, use them, enjoy them, love them, and become great. Fuck. Good shit, bro. Good game.